Shalom Israel, Shalom, Mr. Brother Kadar Gabar here again. All uh, praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the Hafi Lake of the nation of Israel. Believing the gospel. Okay? That's very important. Okay? Because if you do not believe the gospel, you will not be saved in a time of trouble. All right. If you do not believe the gospel, you will not be stable in a time of trouble. OK. The Heavenly Father will not be dealing with you. All right. If you don't believe the gospel. OK. You can't say you believe the gospel and you're doing the things of the world that's going against the gospel. All right. So by believing the gospel, this truth, all right, the Holy Bible, you walk in the ways according to the Lord to the best of your ability while you're in the sinful flesh, while you're in the land of your captivity, okay? Believing the gospel is very important, okay? And for those who believe the gospel, they are blessed, all right? You've been given this gift of faith to believe in the Lord and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. Okay. And you haven't seen them. All right. You believe in this gospel. You have been given that gift, man. Okay. You've been given that spirit to believe on his truth. Let me go here. This is Mark chapter one, verse 15. And it reads, and saying, the time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Okay? Turn back from your wicked ways. Turn from your wicked ways and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? And believe this truth, this gospel, the Holy Bible. The whole Bible. Because the Bible is true and faithful. Okay? So believe on it. Alright? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, we are very, very close to the kingdom being established here upon this planet Earth, man. All right, so you want to believe the gospel, okay? Because if you don't believe, <laughs> then you won't receive salvation, okay? The Heavenly Father is not going to have His only begotten Son deliver, save anybody of the nation of Israel that don't believe. All right. He's coming to uh, bring salvation to the true worshipers, the true believers of the gospel. All right. The elect of the nation of Israel. And Yahweh willing, we are a part of that elect number. Okay. Okay. This is uh, John chapter 20, verse 29. And it reads. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. Okay? And we know Yahweh Shah is the gospel. Okay? We haven't physically seen Yahweh Shah in his lifetime. But we, by reading the gospel, it resonates with our, with our spirit and we believe it. Okay? We, we know... Yahweh and Yahweh Shai to be uh to to be uh to exist, okay? Because we've been given that gift from Yahweh Mashim Yahweh Shai, that gift of what? That gift of faith. Alright. Let's go here real quick. Let me come back to this. Okay, uh this is uh Hebrews chapter eleven, verse one, and it reads, Now faith is the substance of of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen okay and we haven't seen Yahweh or Yahweh Shah all right but yet we believe okay because what we have faith okay and that faith has been given to us to believe on Yahweh and Yahweh Shah okay to believe on the scripture the Holy Bible which is Yahweh Shah. 
Then Yahweh Shah say, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. All right. First one again. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. We haven't seen Yahweh Shah in his lifetime and yet. We believe. Okay. We believe that he's going to come. Okay. We believe he's going to bring destruction here upon this place and, and deliver the elect. Okay. We believe everything in the Bible. We believe it's going to be a Jacob's trouble. Okay, we believe it's going to uh, be a uh, martial law is going to uh, pop off soon and, and race riots and, and all holy hell. Okay, chaos. Okay, total chaos in this world. Destruction. Okay, we believe everything that the scriptures say. All right. Why? Because we have faith. All right. We know. That Yahweh is this. We know that Yahweh Shah is this. All right? Because we have faith. And that faith is a gift. Let me get this. It's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, and it reads For by grace are ye saved through faith. So we're going to be saved because of our faith. Because we believe. We believe on his gospel. We know these words to be true. We know that Yahweh and Yahweh Shah exists. Okay? And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? This is a gift. This is the most precious gift ever, man. Okay? We have to hold on to this gift. We have to hold on to that faith. Because this faith is what's going to get us delivered. Okay, not your money, not how you look, not the status you have in this world, none of that, man. Your faith is what's gonna get you delivered. Believe in this gospel, believe it on Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. All right, it's a gift, man. You know, you know how you give you know, you know somebody close to you a, a a precious gift, you know, and you you know you want them to have this gift because you know you you love them, you know you care for them. The Heavenly Father gave us, you know, this gift. He didn't give all Israel this gift either. All Israel don't have faith in the Heavenly Father. Okay? They don't believe in the Heavenly Father or His Son. Okay? They don't want righteousness to be established on this planet Earth. Okay? They don't want Yahweh Shah to return. Okay? They don't want Him to rule over them. All right? So the elect have this, this gift. And Yahweh willing, we, we are the elect. Okay? We believe we have a better chance, us that's in this truth and sincere, we have a better chance of being of the elect than them that's in the world that don't care for this word, okay? So, hey, that faith is a gift, man, okay? This is Mark chapter 16, verse 16, and it reads, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, okay? Baptized of what? The word. The word baptizes you. The word is the real baptism, okay? You take heed to the word, the word cleanses you, you walk in the ways of the Heavenly Father, okay? You get clean by the word. So you walk in the ways of the Heavenly Father, you, you believe in the gospel, you should be saved. But he that believeth not should be damned, okay? He that don't believeth on this word is going to be destroyed. You Israelites that don't believe on the Bible are going to be destroyed, okay? You're going to be destroyed. You have to believe on this gospel, man. This word is faithful and true. As I tell you in 2nd Ezra chapter 15. All right. And this is uh, John chapter 6, verse 64. And it reads, But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahweh Shah knew from the beginning who they were that believe not and who shall betray him. So, hey, the heavenly father... Yahweh Shah knows who don't believe on his gospel in all in sincerity and all you know and all honesty they know you can't fake it man okay you run around here faking like you believe the truth the heavenly father Yahweh Shah know okay who don't believe he know who believes okay they know all right Because you have to understand, even from the beginning, before the foundations of the earth, 
you know, the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai know them that that uh that believes that that was going to believe. Okay, it was already written, okay, by the Heavenly Father before we even came into existence. <laughs> okay. So the Heavenly Father knows man, who believe and who don't believe. Okay. And if you believe on his truth and sincerity, hey man, give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father. Okay. Be 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 glad, man. Because hey, I don't want to be of them that don't believe on this truth. That's all we have right here. Forget everything that's in the world. This is the most valuable thing we have is this truth. All right? This is more valuable than money, cars, clothes, houses, and, 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 and women, all that, man. Okay? This truth is what we have to hold on to. This is John chapter 8, verse 24. And it reads, I said, therefore, unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye should die in your sins. OK, if you don't believe that Yahweh Shah is this, even his father, Yahweh is this, then <laughs> you're going to die in your sins. If you don't believe that this gospel, this holy Bible, the holy scriptures is the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, you don't believe on this gospel, then you're gonna die in your sins. Period, point blank, man. The Heavenly Father's going to destroy you. Because by you not believing on this gospel, you don't believe on his son. Okay, you can't, I believe in God, I believe in the most high, but I don't believe in he had a son and all, right? You're gonna die in your sins, man. Okay, ain't no half assing in this thing of ours, man. All right. All right, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, and it reads, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? None whatsoever. Okay, stay away from these unbelievers, man. Okay? Stay away from them. They, they you know, they... they there's no reason for you to be around them, okay? They bad energy, okay? Me, I don't be around, I, I just don't be around people, period. Just but my family and, you know, like-minded people that, you know, that believe on the gospel. You know, I like to stay to myself. That's just me. But, um, yeah, man, you know, even, you know, your friends, your family, other world, you know, I don't, I don't, personally, I don't deal with, you know, people period especially if you if you're not in the truth i'm not dealing with you that's a, that's how i feel you know that's me personally but unbelievers period people that talk down on the bible i don't believe in god like stay away from those people man <laughs> i don't care how long you knew those people stay away from them they no good okay verse 14 again be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness Okay, you you being you striving to be righteous, you are, you you're walking in the ways of the heavenly Father. Why are you yoked together with an unbeliever? Why are you hanging around an unbeliever? Why are you hanging around somebody that's doing wicked? Okay. Now you have friends and family that's of the world. You, you know you go to a gathering, whatever. But on on a like being around somebody that's not you know like minded on a on a regular basis, man. Like, come on, man. It's just gonna bring them demons around you. The demons that they have up on them. Stay away from unbelievers. So we will go right here back to Hebrews 11 verse 6. And it reads, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay. Without faith, it's impossible to please the heavenly father. Okay, you have to believe this gospel. You have to believe that he is this. You have to believe that his son is this. Okay? You have to believe that this gospel is faithful and true. And if you don't, there ain't no way you can please the Heavenly Father. All right, so with that being said, believe the gospel. Okay? Repent and believe the gospel. See y'all again soon. Yahweh willing. Shalom.